Hi, and welcome to today's prophetic word. I'm Kay Nash. If you're new here, we're in the process of a three week wait on the Lord that the Lord is calling the Daniel wait. We're waiting before the Lord for an hour and a half each day, 30 minutes, three times a day. And obviously you can move that around if your schedule doesn't really allow that. But that's kind of what we're doing. If you want to join us, feel free to. Um, we're going to be going till August 3rd. And so we're getting to those final days now. So if you have been with us, keep going, keep staying before the Lord because the Lord is about to move. Hallelujah. All right, you guys, um, today I have a word and the word is prepare your meat. Mm. This comes out of Proverbs 30, 25. The ants are a people not strong, yet they prepare their meat in the summer. And that's kind of the verse I felt like the Lord was highlighting that it's time to prepare your meat. It is summer and you need to get your stuff together before harvest season. When harvest season comes in, there's going to be a momentum and you want to make sure that you're prepped and ready to go. Mm. This is part of the rhema. There's going to be several pops of rhema in this and verses. So this is going to be part of it. So here we go. What are you preparing this summer that will affect your fall season? Are you sowing seeds of love and righteousness or are your wicked ways being sown? Mm. Stay in love, my children. Remember to give to me what is due. No matter the circumstances, giving prospers you. Then I felt the Lord highlighting another verse, so let's go into that. The generous will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. This is Proverbs eleven twenty five, 25. Mm. And then he said this. Are you preparing your meat or are you still sleeping? The summer should be a time to prep for harvest as it is surely upon you, but not all will reap. Those who prep will receive. Do the little things I tell you to be rewarded. Be like the little ant and I will take care of you, even when you are small or feel that way in this hour. Like a little ant, I will show you where provision lies. Be like the ant and surely prosper. Gather the small things as I say and see the big cave full of provision. Mm. Bless others and be blessed. Don't forget to give as it will prosper you. You know my voice, so obey quickly and quietly without much question. Mm. I am your God who provides all your needs. I am Jehovah, your provider. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Let's just pray into this a little more. God, I pray for revelation in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that we would know what we need to prep in summer in the name of Jesus. Mm. You know, summer is almost over in a way. It's only seven weeks left. And I honestly feel like seven weeks is not a very long time. And so I really want you to get before the Lord and ask him, what do you need to prep to do this summer? Mm. Mm -mm. Now, for you prophetic people, you are going to feel a shift before the seven weeks. So you will feel fall come before everybody else feels it come. You might feel manifestations and feel like, whew, I just I feel like it fall. You might smell something, feels like it's fall. You might feel a chill, feel like it's fall. The prophetic people often feel the season shift before everybody else. And so... If you are a prophet, a prophetess, a prophetic person, um, you're just very sensitive to a spirit. You could be an evangelist, worshiper. You could be a mom, an intercessor. It doesn't matter. If you are very sensitive to a spirit, you're going to feel a shift into fall before everybody else does. So I just want to encourage you to do what you got to do before fall. Now, hmm, um, hmm. another thing I felt like I... I heard was as fall will spring upon you as a flower budding after winter prepare fall is near prepare mm. something else I, I saw was people getting jackets people getting shoes um, with sales and I felt like the Lord was going to provide for these things you know in Proverbs 31 it says it talks about the godly wife, and obviously that's a prophecy as well, and we could go deeper into that, but that's not the point of this video. But 
basically it talks about how she prepares for her household so when the cold comes they're ready that's part of godly character is seeing things before they happen you can see that fall is coming maybe you need to get new coats maybe you need to get new shoes maybe god told you something's going to happen in fall and you need to prep for that thing maybe god said you this connection is going to happen in fall or this romance is going to happen in fall or this whatever is going to happen in fall if he gave you a fall word any time this year or in the past couple years it's time to prep for fall who i feel the lord on that it is time to prep for fall the ants prepare their meat in summer so when harvest comes they have food because here's the truth when it gets colder out when there's all these festivities and stuff you might not want to work as much you might not want to do as much you might want to attend events you might want to go to things you might just want to have a good time so put in that grind now, put in that work now, work your field, work your land now so you can enjoy later and you don't have to go, oh, I didn't, I didn't work hard enough, so now I still have to work during that time. And so put in the time that you need to put in to prepare your meat. The harvest is fentable, but the labors are few. Mm. Mm. Um, mm. You may be small, but God is going to bless you anyway. Mm prepare and prepare mm. now i heard this about the remnant um so this was another rhema that i heard the remnant will be like ants seeming small at first and then growing to their full potential do not discount the small ones as they will spring ahead this season do not discredit them those who have been fasting and waiting before me will prosper to the ends of the earth like abraham be encouraged, children. I am moving swiftly on your behalf. Mm. Mm. My prayer for you today is that you would prosper to the ends of the earth. As you put your hand to the plow, as you start moving in this summer harvest, you will prosper to the ends of the earth like Abraham. You know, the blessing of the Lord is upon Abraham and is upon us as we are his heirs in Jesus name and it talks about that in Galatians if you want to go further into that chapter as well I pray that you prosper I pray that you gather so I want to ask you what meat do you have to prepare what do you need to do to get ready for fall because some of you business owners this is gonna get you ahead of your competition you should be already thinking about fall you should have already thought about fall if you haven't thought about fall what can you do Jesus to get ahead of the competition what products do you need to create that are fall geared that you can do right now in Jesus name may anointing come on business owners in this hour Jesus to know what they need to do so they can fund the kingdom of God more swiftly in Jesus name and if you aren't that that's okay maybe it's just your household what do you need to do to get your house ready for fall in Jesus name prepare and gather prepare and gather in Jesus name I pray the anointing of the Lord comes on you right now and gives you revelation in the name of Jesus I pray you revelation today revelation the next two days mm, the revelation the next two weeks that God would show you what you need to do in Jesus name mm. Well, you guys, I hope that encouraged you today to get out there and do whatever you need to do this summer. If you feel blessed by this channel, you can sow a seed at knashministries.com. Just click on the giving tab and give whatever the Holy Spirit would have you do. Um, and thanks to you members who continue to give to us every single month. We are truly blessed by you and able to do these words for free for everyone because of your faithfulness. All right, you guys, I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow with our next prophetic word. Make sure you stay before the Lord. I'll see you tomorrow between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. Eastern. All right, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you in the morning. Bye, guys. If you are still here, I want to give you a little update. Um, because I've been doing the daily words lately, it's been harder to keep up with Instagram and so what I'm gonna do is I've been kind of praying so that my words can be relevant for YouTube and Instagram. Um, before I was getting kind of separate words for Instagram and separate words for YouTube. Sometimes they would cross over but not always. And um, lately the Lord's been kind of telling me that he would give me words that are relevant for both communities. Um, and so I'm going to be putting these words on Instagram as well. So if you're looking for text format 
of these words, you can now get them on Instagram. So I'm gonna put the day on there and you'll be able to see more of the rhema or the verses. I might not put every single thing because it might be really long, but just the generalness so you can copy and paste and just if you forget something, you can use that as well. So I just wanted to plug that. So it's at K Nash Ministries on Instagram. The link is in the description box. And so I'll be trying to do that with every video we put out um, in the month of August. And so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it works and hopefully you guys like it and it makes sense to you. And so check us out there. All right, you guys, I hope that blessed you today and I'll talk to you next time or tomorrow morning. All right, love you guys, bye.